Welcome back to Wear Wigs With Me. Today I am wearing Beguile by Natural Image in the color Paprika Mist. So let's get started. Beguile is a curly, mid-length, lightly layered, voluminous, bouncy style. It is cute, it is casual, it is everyday. It has a ton of texture. It is a really great style. So this review is gonna be just a little bit different. I actually shot a full review outdoors. It was windy, didn't feel that windy. All you could hear in the audio was wind. So I'm gonna be inserting various clips throughout of that review that I did outside. And it's a really great chance to see this wig outdoors in a different light with a different background. The cap on Beguile. This is my first natural image wig, and I gotta say, this cap is super comfortable. This has a lace front, a mono part. They have nice, light, flexible ear tabs. They're not super substantial, but they provide good coverage. They have metal stays. They lay very flush against your face. It does not have an extended nape, and it has Velcro adjusters. Otherwise, this cap is machine sewn wefts. It is very stretchy. It has it provides great coverage. I have a 22 and a half inch circumference head. I don't get wig fatigue from it. It is a wear all day kind of cap. The measurements on Beguile. The website says that the crown down is 11 inches, the nape is 7 inches, and that the sides are 10.2. So this is very much a mid-length style on me. Hits me right at the shoulders. It's just ever so slightly longer in the back. It's very comfortable, it's not fussy, it doesn't get in your face. It does have this fringe. And I mean, you could have you could have a full bang if you wanted to, or you could do the side swept. I prefer my hair off my face. So what I did was take some contour cream and put it at the top, put it right here, kind of using my hands, the heat from my hands, give it a little bit of lift, curl it back, grab onto it, and it keeps it up there. It has a great lace front. No reason not to pull this right back off your face. The color I chose is this Paprika Mist, and it looks much darker inside as it does outside, as you can see from the different footage that I shot. It is a beautiful color. It is very reminiscent of Gabor's Rusty Auburn, a little bit like Renee of Paris's Rusty Red. It's kind of right in between. I feel like it has more red than Renee of Paris's Rusty Red. Like when you see this wig, you definitely think it's an auburn wig. And I think it's a little bit brighter than Gabor's Rusty Auburn. It is very pretty. You can really pick up the coppery red, the chocolatey brown. It's beautiful how they did this color. And then add in this style with all this texture and this curl. It just really pumps up that color volume. The hair fibers and permatees on Beguile. I really went digging in here for permatees. This wig doesn't have any permatees. When you first stick your hands in it, you think that it does. It feels like there might be some fuzzy permatees in it. Beguile has that little bit around the nape. You know, it doesn't even look like added permatees. This just might be all hair, guys. When I put my hands in there, I thought there was permatease. I think there's some crimped hairs right around the base of the cap, probably to give it a little volume, but I don't think there's any permatease in this. It's just all hair. So, no permatease. Huh, all right. 
feels like there's permatease in there. It, it's just crimped hair. This is just all hair fiber. And these hair fibers are on the dry side. They're very fine, so they can get fluffy. They can get tangled. It really adds to the overall style. You get that voluminous, bouncy style because of how they did the hair fibers and cut with the layers. What I have to be careful for in this style is since there's no permatease up here, this can get very flat and then I end up with all the weight of the wig right here. And for my face shape and head size, that's not where I want the weight of my hair to land. So I use these layers, I use the curl, and I try to get the volume up here and then just kind of pull this down and flatten this down here just a little bit so it looks lower density and bring some of the volume up. And it's super easy to do with the style because of the hair fibers, because of the curl, it manipulates and moves very easily. Density. When I put this on, I immediately thought of Dakota by Envy. If you've ever tried an Envy wig, then you know there's some inconsistencies with the size and coverage for the caps. I have a Chloe that doesn't fit me well, and I have a Dakota that fits me fabulously. This is a great alternative. This fit, this cap is very stretchy and very great coverage, and the style is very similar. Let's put on Dakota and do a comparison. Okay, so I've got Dakota by Envy on, and I just plopped it on my head. I'm like fixing it in the camera right now. Very similar style, almost the identical cap construction. Um, I've had Envy longer, so it feels a little bit more comfortable than the Beguile cap, but that happens. The longer you wear a cap, the more soft and pliable it gets, so that's, that's to be expected. The Natural Image cap has better coverage. That has always been my thing with Envy caps that I can't get completely comfortable with, and that is the coverage. They're just a little wimpy for me, and I, I like that feeling. I mean, if you've been following me for a while, you know Raquel Welch is my favorite cap because it's substantial, and I, I like a substantial wig cap that I feel confident that it is covering everything I want it to cover and that it's gonna stay that way. I feel like the Beguile cap wins as far as that goes. But the styles are so similar. There is more hair with this wig. And, but as far as like permatease, I mean, all that's about the same. Dakota may not have any permatease at all. Yeah, I think this is a no permatease wig. So if you like Dakota, but you those Envy caps make you nervous or you just wanna try something different, uh, Natural Image Beguile is very comparable style to this. Okay, let's put Beguile back on. Okay, so I've talked about the cap and the measurements and the color and the permatease and the hair fibers. My overall thoughts about Beguile in this, my very first Natural Image wig, I think it's great. The only negative I would say is the tangling. It does tangle very easily. And then the lack of permatease on top. That's just a personal preference. A lot of people are gonna love that it doesn't have any permatease because you can get a very natural, close to the head look with this style. I tend to like a more voluminous, away from the face style. But like I said, you can pull this right down over your face Do a side sweat bang, use the heat from your hands, smash this down, and get a totally different look from this. You also can tuck this right behind your ears because these hair fibers are so fine. They just, they're not bulky, they just slide right behind your ears. And then because it's a lace front, you could totally pull this back. I mean, that's really cute. So there is a lot of options with this wig. Like I said, I took a little contour cream and just the heat from my hands and very quickly pulled this back away from my face.
Okay, so this has been Beguile in the color Paprika Mist. This is by Natural Image. Thank you to Continental Wigs for sending me this piece and giving me the opportunity to put it on my channel. If you haven't checked out their website, I invite you to do that. One really great thing that I noticed when I clicked on the Beguile link, which you'll find below in the comment box, they had a video for how to put on your wig. They also had a video for how to wash your wig. Two really great videos right on the page where you can purchase this wig and I was really happy to see that you know there are a lot of online retailers everybody is competing for the same business so if you can find a real retailer that adds a little bonus to their website it's a reason to go back and I'll definitely be going back to Continental Wigs for those little nuggets of information and education that they offer okay guys if you haven't already hit that subscribe button give it a thumbs up and do a little chit chat down in the comments I can't wait to hear what you think about Beguile and if you have it tell us more about it tell us how it's wearing for you okay I'll see you in my next video